Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Lena and I hope that you guys are having a good time wherever you are. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, I'm back with another reading. Before we proceed, in, you, uh, in case you need any personal sessions or you want to gift me a deck of cards, details will be in the description of the video. Feel free to explore that. So this is going to be a coffee cup reading as you can see in front of you. Topic is predictions for the month of May. Whatever energy uh, will be for the month, we are going to see all that. So along with the coffee cup, I'm also going to use tarot cards. We will jump in and see the energy also specifically in your love life and career along with everything else that we can get. So that's how we will proceed with the reading today. You will have three options to choose from. So this is the cup for group number one, cup for group number two, and cup for group number three. If you need a moment to pause and select your option, feel free to do it now. In case you feel drawn to more than one cup, feel free to watch both the groups or the whole video and then take whatever resonates more with you. Always listen to your intuition. I'm going to start with group number one. So hello group number one, whosoever chose this cup, this is going to be a reading. I heard warm hug <laughs> when I lifted your cup, okay. I'm also seeing the vision of a seal. Uh, seals always remind me of friendship and playful energy. So it seems that uh, the energy will be playful. The energy will be lighthearted for you in the month of May. So let's, uh, I'm going to zoom in. If there's anything that catches your eye, feel free to take that as a personal message to yourself. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> Wow, I'll tell you something. Right off the bat, I see someone sitting on a throne. Wait, is it focusing? I'm going to zoom in a little more. Okay. See, the figure seems like, like someone sitting on a throne. And this is reminding me of two things. One is the Emperor card. And the other is the King of Wands energy. It is giving me a feeling as if <clears throat> you're sitting back and you're observing and you are letting things unfold. You're more in the energy of observing rather than going out there and fighting the battle or going out there in the fields and doing the thing yourself i don't see that energy it feels more like you sit there in your throne and you observe okay this is what resonates with me or this is what doesn't resonate with me so you are taking that position of take like acquiring your throne and understanding that you don't have to engage in everything that's happening. Probably you just have to sit back and observe for the most part. And I like this energy actually. And this is also giving me a feeling like um, you're recognizing your worth in a situation, whether this is related to work or a personal life situation will be different depending on, because it's a collective energy. So... <clears throat> I'm very strongly sensing the energy of Horus around you when I was looking at this. You might be seeing a lot of big birds like hawk. I'm sensing a very strong energy of Horus. The energy here is reflecting again and again of like a king, like an emperor. So the energy here is definitely screaming to me that in this month, you're going to feel very, oh, you know, like 
I know my worth. I'm not going to get petty with this or I'm not going to lower my standards for you or uh, I know what I'm worth and this is what I'm going to do. Like, you know, that's the kind of energy that I channel for you for this month. You're definitely understanding that just because someone else cannot afford you, like I'm just saying it metaphorically, just because someone else cannot afford you doesn't mean you have to lower your standards. Okay, so nice. Okay, nice. <laughs> I hope you don't let that get your head though. <clears throat> mm. I'm seeing like, I'm seeing lots of food in my vision and food of like, like, you know, you go to those five star and good, good rated restaurants, like hi-fi restaurants the bougie ones. So I'm seeing very fancy food in my, this thing, <laughs> vision. So maybe you are going out, like you're treating yourself, you are being expensive. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you're having a good time. You probably are deciding to treat yourself. Um, you're spending money on yourself, especially when it comes to food and things like that. Or maybe you're going out on fancy dates because I'm seeing those places where they serve like fancy food, like, uh, hmm, nice. You're going to have a good time when it comes to enjoying food, drinks, things like that. Like, you're going to go out a lot is what I'm getting. If you're someone who doesn't go out a lot, if you're someone who usually don't go out on dinners, lunches, or stuff like that, then this month, this energy is changing. You're going out. Uh, you might be actually trying different places, trying different restaurants, things like that. Um, I'm also getting one more message. If you are, uh, this is very specific, okay? this I think I am getting this for a very specific someone watching me. Uh, if you're someone who is into like food blogging or like, you are on social media and you do something related food, then your followers are go going to go up. This is what I'm getting. They keep showing me food. What is up? King energy, fancy food. What's, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, oh, I'm also getting one more. I got the vision of a golf cart. Um, mm, that's fancy. Some of you are trying to like, okay, I'll tell you something. I, I think I, um, I think I read this somewhere or I don't know. I don't remember. I, maybe I, I heard it somewhere on a video or maybe I read this in a book. You know, when you subconsciously train your mind to get used to nicer things in life, and that's how your subconscious brain tries to, or it starts attracting situations in life, uh, or it starts attracting solution in life so that you can make this a lifestyle. You can make this your permanent thing. It is many a time said by like, if you, if you read mindset books, or if you read like people who are like um, into mindset stuff, um, they always say that sometimes, you know, you have to once in a while treat yourself. Once in a while, make yourself used to a nice thing. Because that way your subconscious brain will start attracting solutions to attract a better lifestyle. Once you get a taste of that good thing, once you get a taste of that expensive thing, your subconscious mind will be like, oh, now I want that as a lifestyle. And in return, it starts attracting solutions and it starts thinking, how can I get to there? And it automatically starts functioning that way. So probably you're applying this in your life next month. You're working on your mindset or you're working on, you know, subconsciously training your mind to get used to nicer things. Because yes, you deserve good things. You deserve the king treatment, right? So Probably you're working on your mindset next month a lot. And you are also adopting that in your lifestyle, in even the smaller things that you do. That's very interesting. 
Let me see what else. Hmm. I'm getting the vision of an owl. Owl represents a very wise energy. There's something that keeps screaming wisdom. Um, probably you are under the influence of a person who is very wise next month. Uh, you come across a person maybe online or you meet someone in person like that. I feel you might be under the influence of a very wise person in your life. And that's going to bring a lot of change when it comes to your own lifestyle and your own mindset. You're definitely, because I also saw the energy of Horus showing up in your cup. Yeah. So that gives me a feeling like there is an influence on you which is helping you to inculcate a better mindset, improve your lifestyle, change your atomic habits. Or maybe you're just coming across a book and that changes your perspective, okay? So that also could be one thing. I love this energy. Mindset people are my thing. Like people who work on their mindset, they get they they just decide to face their own thoughts and work on that. They are my favorite kind of people. I love them. People who start working on themselves. Like, wow. <laughs> nice. There's nothing much on the plate. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> no, there's nothing like... There's like a big blob of coffee. <clears throat> yeah, not much happening on the plate. Oops. Mm -mm, I don't see anything specific. Mm -hmm. What is that? Oh, that's like a bath opening up. Nice. Mm hmm Okay. Let me grab you the cards. Just give me a moment. Okay. So first we are going to see what's happening overall in your love life in the month of May. Like we have covered everything else with the cup, like overall what the energy is like. Let's go with your love life now. What's happening with your love life in the month of May? Oh. I'm getting the vision of five of cups card. Let me see why I'm getting that. <clears throat> oh my god okay just hang on <laughs> so excited someone is excited to touch you like that's the feeling i got as if someone wants to sit next to you they want to feel how your presence feels like how you smell like i'm not okay i'm not in a i'm not talking in a vulgar way <laughs> but you know like i'm getting a feeling as if someone wants to sit next to you they want to Kind of feel how your touch feels. They want to see how you smell. Oh my God. Someone is kind of low-key obsessed about how you look or how you appear. Okay, let's see what's happening in your love life. That's a good start. Ace of Wands. Hmm. But this is also a very sexual energy. So be careful if you're not just looking for a hookup or a fling, then probably that's not the energy you're looking for. Uh, so your reading has got Ace of Wands. You could have some kind of like energy around someone interested in you, finding you attractive. So the, take what resonates. I'm hearing not much to offer. Okay. Page of Cups. Wait, is it focusing? Let me check. Yeah. 
Mm, no, not a good energy. Eight of Swords. Yep. I think that's why I was hearing not much to offer. You do have an offer coming your way, but I feel this is not up to the mark or this is not what will match your level. Your energy seems like a king, emperor. That's what I channeled in the cup, right? No, it's not matching up to your level. Mm -mm. You do have offer though. You do have people approaching you. It could be a fire sign because, oh, Ace of Wands is here. Okay, you got... Hang on, man. Your cards are so excited. Like, what? The Queen of Swords. The Star. I'm hearing that song from... Like the star, a star like the star. I don't know what the song is called. She's like the star. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the song is called. Two of Pentacles, the world. Hmm. She's my everything. She's a na na na. I think that's what the song is. I'll tell you something. <clears throat> You're too expensive. <laughs> I'll be honest, like the feeling that I'm getting here is like, you're too expensive for this SHID. You do have people approaching you, not gonna lie, because you also have two of pentacles at the same time, ace of wands, page of cups. You could have more than one people approaching you, but you're too expensive for this. Um, that's what I can say. There's nothing solid that I see on the table. I'll be honest, like that's what I see. So up to you if you want to still entertain this, but I don't see anything solid. It's more like a fling hookup energy that I see. Uh, if you're interested in that, again, go forward. That's your choice. But I don't see anything solid happening with love life. If you want to enjoy the attention, you have it. Okay? But nothing solid as of now. <laughs> Is everyone a hopeless romantic like me? Like, what the hell? <laughs> Okay, now we are going to see specifically what's happening in your career. Okay, let's see that. So in the month of May, what can you expect in your career? Mm -hmm. Okay, oh my God. What's happening in your career in the month of May? Okay. Oh, nice. I like that. Oops. Okay. You got two of cups. Let me check. Yeah, that's focusing. Nice. King of Cups. Wow. You will love this energy. See? Ten of Pentacles at the bottom. I do see you being very fulfilled with your career next month. There could be, since Two of Cups came out, there could be a new collaboration happening uh take how as, however that is resonating if you're at a job maybe you're being presented with a new project just a moment excuse me i ended up sneezing and that was a big one <laughs> so maybe for some of you there's some kind of a restart energy happening in your career next month just because someone new is entering your life maybe in the form of a partnership a new colleague new teammate a uh, new business partner, new whatever, okay? So please take how is resonating with the situation in your life. Um, with someone new entering, things are going to feel like restarting, having a new energy into it. And you're going to feel fulfilled because Ten of Pentacles is here. The energy seems definitely very fulfilling in your career next month. If things were feeling sad and not moving, then probably things are changing for you in the next month. The energy seems good. Only one more card, spirits. Oh my god. Are you serious? <laughs> I'll tell you why. 
the high priestess at the bottom and the moon like both of these energies are very mysterious they both represent secrets wow i'm getting a feeling looking at this that this is gonna be very surprising for you like out of nowhere this collaboration will happen with these two energies coming out you're not gonna see it coming it's gonna be very surprising to you for some of you it would be very surprising that wow this person is ready to cooperate with me how is that possible probably this is a person already you know but they never cooperated with you in life but now they're ready to they're ready to agree with your terms they're ready to go as per what you want so that's surprising for you you're like wow i never knew this person would agree to me so take how that resonates in your situation wow that's nice can we get anything more specific if we can please spirits if we can get anything more specific oh my god they're not giving me <laughs> okay stop playing around no man okay hmm. for some of you i think you're deciding to finally take a step or universe is forcing you to take a step towards something new you'll be forced to make a decision in a new direction that's why um you are finally feeling fulfilled because you will no longer be doing what you don't like a big change you're manifesting nice yep see you're opening up different doors of opportunities yeah okay that's interesting we are going to take some oracle messages now to finally wrap up your reading. Let's see what can I grab. Just a moment. Okay, so let's take your oracle messages quickly. This one seems popping out. what nice you got official person this energy of like the emperor holding a status the king kind of energy okay you seen as at a you know like you're seen at a higher status this keeps showing up false person uh this i think kind of seems to me like we also saw the moon and high priest as you remember in your career spread so this gives me a feeling there is a definitely a person's mask coming off when it comes to your workplace this could be a person at higher position because these two also came out together for some of you this could be the case that you know uh, maybe your manager is being caught doing something nasty and they are fired and finally the person is gone and your life is less miserable <laughs> maybe it was your boss who was making it miserable for you so now since this person is gone your life is easy or your life is better so take how that resonates but definitely there could be a revelation regarding a person sitting at a higher position maybe at your workplace your job okay beaver spirit lay a solid foundation with number six armadillo spirit number three um set healthy boundaries wow i love that this is uh, matching with the energy that i uh, saw in the cup in the beginning that i told you you're not gonna lower your standards <clears throat> i'm also getting a feeling many of you you are finally putting down your plans to start something new when it comes to your work kali mahamaya with number four Oh, wow. Kalika Tantrika with number 35. 
um, with these two cards I'm getting a message that there is some sort of information being revealed to you some information that is helping you to come out of a cycle a very strong message that I'm getting from both these cards some kind of inf information revelation as I said in your reading as well probably you end up meeting a person who is very wise who who guides you or who is guiding you this month and this way you're able to make better choices and you're able to decide and take a step in your life which proves to be very fruitful okay so i'm getting with these two cards that there is some kind of knowledge revelation some kind of information that comes into picture that helps you to make better life decisions okay so this is what i'm getting from these two cards so group number one, this is where I'll leave you with the message and uh, I'll see you again with another video. Thank you for watching. Hello, group number two, whosoever chose this cup, this is going to be a reading. Let's see what's in store for you for the month of May. <laughs> I'm sensing a very slow energy with you guys. Like, um, you know, you are not going to be very... You might actually choose to stay inside and just take it slow. I'm feeling a very lazy energy with you guys when, when it comes to, you know, seems very lazy to me. But anyways, like that's the energy I'm picking up on. Let's dig into your cup. What do we see? For some of you, I do see you doing back and forth with your house or with your like, probably you're visiting your parents' house often this month. Um, like maybe you are just spending a lot of time with your family or with your parents, with your relatives. Um, <clears throat> Give me a moment. Okay. <clears throat> I do see you spending a lot of time at home. Like, I'm getting a feeling as if you don't feel like being so social. You just want to be in your cozy space. That's the feeling I channel. Like this month, probably you're not going to be very active. Your social life may not be very active. You might choose to stay indoors. You might choose to just spend more time uh, watching online shows and just taking it slow. You're feeling very lazy and you want to rest. You're taking a lot of rest this month, okay? That's the feeling I'm channeling. Um, I'm also getting the vision of like, you are signing something. Like I saw someone signing a paper. Um, I don't know, like probably you're closing a deal. You're finally paying off something. Maybe your debt is cleared. Uh, you're finally closing off something. That's the kind of feeling it gave me. Like when you finally, you know, sign the deal and you close it off, uh, so you might be closing off, like maybe you finally pay off your debt. That's why maybe you're so relaxed. You're like, finally, I'm just going to take my time and take time to rest. You're finally closing something off. <clears throat> mm. Wait, what is that? Yeah, I also saw like this is giving me the feeling of someone's pet you're spending like a good time with your pet if you obviously if you have a pet you're spending more time with them you know the feeling i keep getting is you're making up for certain things now like probably you used to be so busy you were not able to make time for your kids or for your pet or for your family so this month you're trying to do that more if you were if you were someone your house was always messy you were never like you were so busy you don't get time to clean your room properly or organize your things properly so this month you're gonna pay attention to those things it's like you're choosing to do the boring things <laughs> it's funny <laughs> 
um, it's giving me a feeling like you're choosing to do the monotonous things now, which you never found the time to do earlier or you were you kept ignoring it, but now you're choosing to do it. <laughs> nice. I like that. I'm seeing the vision of a stingray. Um, maybe you can just Google and see what stingrays represent, uh, in like in a spiritual context or as a, as an animal totem. What they do, what do they represent? Oh my God, what's up with me? <laughs> I don't even feel like speaking in your pile. It's like mm, leave me alone. <laughs> the energy is very lazy. I'm telling you in this pile. The moment I started doing a reading, <clears throat> let me grab my water. Yeah, uh, I'm also getting your finally, for some of you, you will finally be working on your home garden or your backyard or you're paying attention to those little things, uh, doing those small repairs inside the house. Um, that's the feeling I strongly channel for you guys. It's going to be slow. This month seems very slow and easy breezy. You're not going to rush anything. We put on the side. Let's see your plate. I see you with someone here, like there are two people. Probably you decide to like, this could be like you call someone up, uh, like you call someone over. Uh, for a night stay, like maybe a friend or probably a person you're dating or it's like um, you want to stay home. You want to just enjoy the simple things. You also might have company because I'm seeing two people here. Hmm. This could simply be your parent, like you're spending more time with your parent, making more time for your family, your pet, whatever. You do have company also. That's what I see. Hmm, I'm not getting anything else here. Let me take the cards, okay? So first we are going to see in specific what's happening with your love life in the month of May. Okay. So what's happening in the month of May for your love life? I'm getting the image of like a, I'm not gonna lie, I gonna I got the image of a witch and as if she was stir, she was stirring something in her cauldron. <laughs> like she's making a magic potion. Uh, probably you're gonna pay more attention to you're doing some kind of beauty spell or you're just paying attention to, you know, like you're making something at home, you're consuming that. Um, I literally saw a witch like making a potion. So probably you're just, <laughs> you're doing some beauty rituals or whatever. Okay, that's interesting. Um, we're gonna see what's up in your love life in the month of May. Okay, one more card, please. This one. Oh my God, okay. Okay, the fool. Interesting. <laughs> this came out in group one also. What is up? Eight of swords and three of pentacles. Huh. Hmm. 
bottom you have queen of pentacles why are you throwing off such a green witch vibe to me like i don't know you guys are into plants you really like plants or something here also this person is like watering his plants and then this queen of pentacles like climbing up to the tree to get something hmm nice I'll tell you something, with your uh, love life scenario, I'm getting a feeling you're working on healing yourself. You're not, you're not rushing anything. And most, I think most of the time you're just by yourself when it comes to love life, you know, when it comes to you dating someone or something. Um, it seems you're going to spend a lot of time by yourself reflecting on the past relationships that did not work for you. Probably you're just healing yourself. You're trying to understand that how can I make myself better? So you're going to take it slow. Like when I see these cards, you're going to get up and you're going to start watering your plants. The symbolism that I see here. You're going to be like, okay, fine. If things are not working here in my love life, that's okay. I'm going to work on my body. I'm going to pay attention to what I'm eating. I'm going to pay attention to how I feel right now in the moment. You're working on healing. Hmm. You're building yourself step by step for sure. Is that a nine? Okay, I always get confused with the way the numbers are written. Yeah, this is the six of swords and the lovers. Wow. I'll tell you something i do feel that hmm, bottom you have the queen of cups oh i just noticed look bottom you have the king of cups and the queen of cups this is counterpart cards these are counterpart cards i'll tell you something i do feel towards the end this happens towards the end of the month Towards the end of the month, you might actually end up meeting someone because the lover card is also the card of partnership and collaborations. It's also a card of choice. Uh, for probably most of you, I feel this comes with probably a kind of movement you make because it came out with the six of swords. Six of swords is a card of movement. So once you take a, undertake a movement, this movement is going to bring you close to someone, someone who matches your vibration. But this is something I feel happening towards the end of the month or even maybe in the month of June because once May ends and then June starts, that's the kind of energy I'm channeling. And with this five of pentacles coming up, there could be a person from the past who is regretting about the way they treated you. You are closed off to this person, I feel. Yeah, that's what I see in your love life. You might start seeing a little bit of movement and things kind of changing towards the end of the month or maybe going forward in June. That's what I'm kind of sensing with your energy. Now we are going to see what's happening in your career. Just give me a moment. Let's see what's up in your career. Specifically for the month of May. Oh, that was quick. Oh, okay. That's the intro card of the deck. Uh, the Hanged Man. Knight of... Why is this idea of movement showing up in your reading? For many of you, I think you're actually moving uh, by the end of the month. <sighs> 
For some of you, I'm channeling, probably you're moving back with your family. You decide to cut down your expenses. And for the moment, you want to move back to your family so that you can manage your expenses. And you can plan better what you can do ahead. For many of you, that's also what I'm channeling. And I'm also getting a message. Probably uh, you're deciding to cut yourself out from a situation because hangman is also the energy of a like you know finally planning to do something new it also represents a new energy new beginning about to happen uh because now you're seeing it from a different perspective so you are taking it as a another beginning for many of you i feel there could definitely be a movement involved you're finally deciding to move um i do see that wow Uh, okay, that's what I see. They're not giving me anything else. Uh, let's now take some oracle messages, additional messages for overall what you can expect in the month of May. Okay, they already gave me two. Oopsie. Okay, no. Okay, they want me to take both. Time to let go. Groundhog spirit. I think by the end of the month, you'll finally be able to let go of something. There's a reason why I was seeing that vision of someone signing the paper. Uh, you will take your time. You will finally decide and you will let it go by the end of the month. This is what I see. The action part comes towards the end of the month, I feel. You will take your time to decide. Let's see. We're going to start with this. Okay, sorry. Despair 32. Wow, courtship. This is interesting. Uh, when I'm looking at these two cards, I get a feeling that probably for some of you, this is related to your work situation. Either you are being, f I'm sorry, I don't want to be the bearer of like negative news or something, but probably there's something that doesn't go your way with work. But I think when it comes to your love life, something will be sorted. Like it's happening as if, you know, Maybe in your career, things don't go your way. Uh, but when it comes to your personal life relationships, things are improving. That's the kind of feeling I see when I'm looking at these two cards. Hmm. That is me. Okay. What the heck? They are stuck together. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Dolphin spirit, uh, number 20, this and that are true. Turtle spirit, slow and steady wins the race. See, the energy seems a little slow to me this month. I told you from the beginning of your cup. Chameleon spirit, act as if. Oh, now I'm connecting it. Okay, I'm getting a message here that you probably won't be, you know, Probably when in the first part of the month, the first half of the month. <clears throat> Wait, the dog is making a lot of noise. Just a minute. Okay, I'm back. Um, the message that I was getting for you is that probably with the beginning of the month, 
there could be like a situation at work that's not making you happy. Maybe you had an argument with a boss or there is some kind of disagreement at workplace and something that is not making you happy in the beginning of the month and you decide to just surrender or that's what your advice is, act as if. Just surrender to the situation and don't try to do anything extra. Like, just go with the flow. I know it's easier said than done, but probably you just have to surrender to the situation. And by the time the month ends, you're going to see a positive impact in other areas of your life. Wow. Okay, sorry. Uh, you got 26 with Shodashi. Wow, number 11, Durga Kalika. Nice. With these two cards, because there's the trident symbolism. There's definitely a message here that something that has been not serving you purpose, like the energy that I'm channeling with this trident symbolism um trident is seen as something that destroys right it's used to destroy um so something which is toxic for you or something that is not going to serve you anymore is slowly being taken away from your life so keep a little bit of patience even if things are moving a little slow as it is said but this is the time where things will be finally restored uh after you know you go through that healing process Things will definitely be restored. So group number two, this is where I'll leave you with the message. And uh, I'll see you again with another video. Do take care of yourselves. Hello, group number three. The whosoever chose this cup, this is going to be your reading. First, we are going to see overall what's the energy like for the month. And then we're going to see with the cards in specific, okay? Uh, one message that I already got for you is probably many of you are going on a holiday this month or you're going or you're planning a holiday or a trip. Okay, I do see you having some kind of trip this month. I'm getting the visions of like amusement parks and rides and stuff like that. So probably many of you definitely are traveling. I'm, I'm getting those visions. I'm also getting Hong Kong. Probably many of you are traveling towards like South Asia or something. I don't know. Uh, I'm getting that. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what is happening in your cup. I'm channeling the sign of Taurus. You could be a Taurus or someone significant in your life could be a Taurus. I'm seeing the number five as well. <clears throat> I'm also seeing like when I was looking sorry wait when I was concentrating here it gave me a feeling of like uh, you know when you visit a place and you buy their cultural um, what is that called like you, you shop from their local markets and then you get the like their local kind of prints, their traditional printed clothes or their traditional jewelry. So I saw something like that here. So it's like you're exploring 
a very different place with a different ethnicity and you are kind of enjoying their culture you're enjoying their jewelry tradition you're purchasing stuff like that um you're having a nice time i feel like of course for many of you that's the case um if you're not traveling then probably you are connecting with people like this maybe you're connecting with people of different culture or ethnicity at your workplace or maybe there's a next door neighbor who belongs to a different re- like culture and stuff like that so you are mixing up with them you're learning about their culture so there's something about a different culture and ethnicity i don't know like or probably this is your um say for example your daughter is dating someone and you come to know about that and uh, now you know that okay your daughter is dating a person from a different ethnicity and you're learning more about their culture so that also could be something or you are attending a wedding which is like a you know like two people marrying each other from different cultures so it's a very new kind of experience for you so i'm getting something related to culture here different cultures different ethnicities I'm getting the alphabet A, N, and A, N, another N, S, and X, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm also getting a message here that you're going to give it a chance. Um, It's giving me an energy of like something you thought you would never do in life or something you thought that, oh, even I will do this. I never knew. You're going to give something a chance in your life. Like uh, you'll become open minded regarding something is the kind of feeling I'm getting. And you're going to give it a chance and you're going to be very happy that, oh, I'm happy I gave it a chance. You're not going to regret giving this a chance. That's the kind of feeling I'm channeling. Like you're not going to regret taking a chance. So if there is an opportunity in the month of May which you feel very new to you or you feel that, but I have never done this before, will it go in my favor or something? So I think you should give it a chance. It will, it will be nice. You will enjoy it. Like say, for example, you're a person who has never been to camping or you have never done um, camping or something like that. And suddenly someone asks you or there's an offer you come across and you're like, should I do it? I've never done this. I think you should do it. It's going to be very good. You'll have a great experience. Nice. Let's see your plate. I'm also getting one more message here that uh, this is specifically for people who are probably taking a road trip next month or you're traveling by road somewhere. Um, You might end up losing the way, uh, but like that's destined. I'm getting a feeling as if you're going to lose the way or you're going to take the long route or the wrong route, but that's for a reason and that is going to turn out very amazing like something you lose your way with is gonna turn out to be a good experience that's what i'm getting now that could be literally like probably on a road trip and that happens or this for some it can be metaphorical also like initially it will feel like oh my god i did the wrong thing but it's gonna turn out to be in your favor
uh i'm also getting a f- what wait i just saw something it feels like a person with a turban or a person with like a bandana or what they tie on their head i don't know what is that called like you know when they tie something on the head i have seen this in like Uh, middle eastern countries also like people they tie something on the head i don't know what is that called i'm sorry i don't know that <laughs> this is so nice i like that <laughs> wow hmm okay we are going to go with your cards now so let's start with your So what's happening in your love life in the month of May? Let's do a spread on your love life. Month of May. Oh my. Do you see like what is up? Just give me a moment. Okay so the card that fell out or the card that flipped was 5 of wands what drama is this <laughs> what is this i don't like today love life messages were like meh not much like <laughs> in all the three groups it's nothing fascinating i'll be honest <laughs> we are all hopeless romantics here okay um just kidding Ace of Pentacles. Oh, nice to see that though. There's a grasshopper that's catching my attention on this card. <clears throat> Grasshoppers actually uh I see them as like the fool card energy. Like giving something a chance. Why is this Oh, okay. the moment i said that the world came out i was trying to clarify the five of wands energy this drama is ending bottom of the deck ace of cups nice i like it now the energy seems moving so for you guys i feel there's an end to a dramatic situation in love life see five of wands clarified by the world card a dramatic situation is ending some kind of on and off in and out energy a person who was just causing a lot of drama this energy is ending this cycle is ending and there is like um, new doors opening up oh okay yes you are manifesting a wish fulfillment in love life i think <sighs> no guys you're not hopeless romantics i jumped the gun with that <laughs> because in the other two groups wow the energy kind of felt similar with that with that one but anyways You got nine of cups, magician. You're having a wish fulfillment in love soon. For many of you, this month itself, you're gonna start seeing a positive shift in your love life. Wow, I love this. <laughs> Let's see. the moment i grab this deck i'm hearing the word comeback for some of you you're making some kind of comeback in your career i don't know what that means but i heard the word comeback it's like you're doing things in a more organized way now and you're taking things seriously in your career probably for many of you someone specifically might have been keeping you distracted or some situation in life was keeping you distracted for the last couple of weeks or months and you were not able to focus on your work but i think that focus is coming back that's the kind of energy i'm feeling in your career you're feeling more focused this month you're feeling like okay back to business that's the feeling i'm getting yeah look oh my god this is such a oh i think your reading was the best out of all the three <laughs> because in other two groups um mm, i don't remember exactly but yeah i think yours is like the best i think it feels i'm doing reading forever now 
wow this is a longer video <laughs> feels like i'm doing this reading since times i don't know 10 of cups <laughs> i don't feel like pulling out any more cards the energy seems very positive in your career you have recognition you have you know uh, wish fulfillment emotional fulfillment you're happy doing what you're doing you're gonna get more recognition for your work especially if you're someone who is into public eye this is such a good card to get okay expect more recognition in your career this month people are gonna notice you for what you do let's take some oracle messages and we can call it a reading why do I get a feeling many of you watching me are into creative business? And this month is going to be really good for you if you're resonating with what I'm saying. Oh my God. I keep hearing this song. I'll tell you what it is. It is Bandana by uh, Bandana by Shub. It's a Punjabi song. Ooh, are you guys serious? I keep hearing that song. If you wanna, if you understand the lyrics, you can go back and watch. That flipped out. I'm gonna take that. Privileged lady at the end. For some of you, there's definitely things moving in your love life if you're not resonating with this message if if say for example you're not someone who's looking for a lover then this could also mean that there's an important person entering your life who is helping you to you know like get things better like after this person enters there's a positive shift in your life so take however that message is resonating doesn't necessarily has to be oh i love this whenever this card shows up this is such a positive sign i love whenever this card shows up freedom is yours with the horse spirit number 33 i think they already gave me all right i'm also gonna take this um i'm getting a feeling that for many of you the kind of feeling i channel was like enough of lessons now it's time for you to receive you have gone through a lot of like tough phases tough lessons so it feels like now you will receive now it's time for you to receive the gifts receive your rewards okay so this is what i'm keeping here and wow look at that i love this 53 seahorse spirit watch and wait yep watch and wait how things are gonna unfold in your favor okay whenever this card comes out this is a very positive sign i'm not just saying but this is honestly a very positive sign devi makali this actually represents that there is a huge divine intervention because this representation is this is like you are being held by the divine mother she's holding you in her in her hands so this is a very positive sign. There's a big divine intervention that is moving things positively in your life. Oh my God. I'm telling you, this reading is like one of the amazing ones I did today. This is like the... <sighs> my God. Thank you so much, Goddess. Lalita Tripur Sundari. Oh, freaking goodness whenever she comes out she represents you know when there is about to be blessings pouring on to you one after the other that's when she comes out she doesn't come out very often in readings but when she comes out take it as a sign that one after the other blessings are gonna pour into your lap it's like a wheel of fortune moment like suddenly tables have turned and the moment i was saying that i saw number 11 on my phone I love this. So group number three, amazing reading, guys. Amazing month. Take care of yourselves and thank you for being here with me till the end. I'm going to see you again with another video. Bye-bye.